started out with a 840 cc v-twin diesel engine just like the yanmar clone that i had on my first bike except this time it has twin turbochargers of the rhb 31. it's a hydrostatic drive so it's got a hydraulic pump directly coupled to the back of the engine and that allows me to supply hydraulic fluid to the front and rear hub motors. The bike has air ride suspension on the front and rear and that allows me to sit the bike on the ground just like this. And uh, when I'm ready to go all I have to do is just air up the bags and the bike will lift off the ground and give me the proper ride height so I can roll on down the road. And when I get to where I'm going, instead of flipping out a kickstand and leaning it over, all I have to do is bleed off the air pressure and the bike sits right back down on the ground again like it is right here. This leveling system that I've come up with, which is actually a park brake handle off of a semi-truck, and that when you push it in, normally that would be applying air to the, the brake chambers to get them to release. And in my case, it's going to be applying air to the bags and lifting the bike up. And from there it runs to these two uh, regulators and the regulators will allow me to adjust the front airbag pressure and the rear airbag pressure um, so that I can get the bike balanced and when you pop the valve out it bleeds off all the air and sets the bike right back down on the ground. The backbone of the motorcycle is made out of 4 inch tubing and that's where I'm going to store all the hydraulic fluid. I've put a uh, heat shield um, and drilled some holes in it to kind of give it the uh, look of kind of like the heat shield off of a gun. LED headlight, oh, which is three, three watt LED bulbs with a red halo ring. One and a half gallon air tanks and I added some cones and fins to the back of them to give them kind of a bomb look to them because I'm going with a bomber theme on this particular bike. I've got two hydraulic oil coolers mounted on the bike with some handmade sheet metal hood scoops to go on the outside to help kind of tunnel ram the air. I've got my cables run down into the frame to these two valves right here. So when I pull on the cable, it pushes in on that valve. And those are log splitter valves. That will, one will be the brake and it will restrict the return flow off the rear wheel. Rear wheel. And on the other side, right there, it's moving. that will be the clutch action and it will be closed off right now and as you squeeze it in it allows it to free circulate so that the pump is not building any pressure and as you slowly let off on the clutch it will force the pump to build up pressure and send it to the wheels. I've got my valve for the forward, park, and reverse on the bike. Cruising on down the road. <laughs> 